Padre's here. I'm standing outside the the pinnacle lodge. Four tenths of a mile east of the Appalachian Trail on Route 11 in Vermont. Um, awesome stay. Great place. People take care of you. You'll do whatever you need. So, if you're looking for a place to stay, this is it. All right, start of another day. Look at them blue skies. We're headed north. Hot grease here. We're all on trail now. Starting another day. Yesterday we uh, narrowed into Manchester thanks to my sister and brother-in-law, Linda and Ken. They picked us up, they drove three hours, brought us food, drink, took us to breakfast, paid for it. It was a wonderful day. We went uh, resupplied and got to the outfitter and got our stuff all squared away. Dropped us off at the uh, Pinnacle Lodge. Homeboy, Linda, I love you both, man. Thanks so much. Hi, Grace here. I came out of the woods by that big rock down there. We're on a ski slope at Bromley Ski Resort. So we're walking up the slope. I haven't snow skied in too many years. Now all this stuff is making me want to snow ski. Maybe I'll look into it this one. <laughs> That's the top right there. That's where we're going. The clouds are absolutely gorgeous. Wow, is that beautiful. All right, everybody. I'll see you at the top. I don't know if everybody can hear me or not. The wind is pretty high. Uh, I'm at the top of Bromley. It's a beautiful view. It's awesome. I'm actually cold from the wind. That's a ski lift. A little warm and lodge. It looks like people... I believe you can sleep in here you want to but this is pretty cool so we're gonna walk up to the to the lift how's everybody doing there's another ski mountain off in the distance I don't know, I know the name of it Uh, look at someone camp last night. They're brave. The wind could kick up and blow. trekking pole so I can do a little bit better job with this camera. This is key, this. Operation buttons up, down, and whatever they do. The guy running it. Wow. Look at that right there. You're going to be able to hear me or not, but... back memories of snow skiing there the distance in the valley we got clouds mountains everywhere East. 
that makes it north northeast that's pretty much the direction we're going to be going the wind is pretty i don't know if you can hear me or not hopefully you can hear some of the things that i'm saying around here and then uh call it. visit with the other hikers all right everybody real quickly it looks like it's going to run out but i just thought i'd show you a little bit of a march boardwalk it's uh every once in a while when it gets a little wet and muddy I have one of those for us to walk on. But today is beautiful blue skies, low humidity, and a pretty good breeze. Which means to us, perfect hiking weather. Can't complain one bit. The trail's been great today. A few ups and downs, but Nothing that really hurt us yet. And uh, it's, a, it's the first day back from an arrow. And again, it's weird how that happens. You take a few hours off basically of hiking because we did six miles that day. But coming back takes a little while to get your, I don't know, you back in the zone to feel good about hiking. But. I'm feeling good. Reruns right behind me. Hot spots not far behind, which is a good thing. And we're about six miles in, maybe a little more. And it's a wonderful day. Thanks for following. And we'll see what the trail has for us up ahead. Hot grease here. Yeah, that's where I came from. On the AT and the Long Trail also in Vermont. Let's see if I can show you a little bit of the mud. This is the kind of stuff that we have to try to get around and not step in because it just makes your shoes a mess. So that's why they call Vermont Vermont for mud. And then they put on the boardwalks, which is in this beautiful forest, I'm telling you, it's just, gosh, Christmas trees and that smell everywhere. And we're walking on a boardwalk. It's a wonderful day. Some of these boards have been here for more than 20 years, I guarantee you. Man, they're pretty rotted. And then back to the mud that you've got to try to get around if you can. There's not always a way to get around it, so you go through it sometimes. All right. I just thought I'd share that with you. We've been on this sort of a trail for a few miles now. But as you can see, the sun shining through and the shadows and the old boards and the old half logs. And it's just gorgeous. All right, I'll turn this thing off. Let's see what happens up trail. Just coming off trail here a little while ago. Right down through there. And uh, stopped at this gorgeous log shelter. Gosh, is it beautiful. Look at the size of those logs. Really, really nice. Some of these shelters in Vermont have been run down. This one here is absolutely gorgeous. We're sitting here having lunch. Rerun, hot spot. And we've got about 
six miles to go to our destination for the day. Yeah, it's got a nice little brown roof on it. Well done. All right, we'll see what else is on the trail up in front of us. Hey, Hot Grease here. That's where I came from. Oh, a nice little brook coming out of the beaver bog. And it's beautiful. Oh, somebody wants by. It's... <laughs> How we doing? It's hot spot. He's here. It is 115. I don't normally see him at 115. I normally see him around 815. Wow. You did a little repair job here. This brook is gorgeous. Yes, it is. It's very pretty. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. We're headed up to... Hi, Grease here. That's where I came from. That's the Appalachian Trail. And this is the view I have. Pretty stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. The mud is so spectacular. That's some sort of granite quarry right there. Then more big mountains. And of course some farmlands in the bottom if you look real close. And more stuff further north. Look at that cloud right there, isn't that beautiful? I'm surrounded by food right now. Not a bad climb. Not a bad climb at all. Alright everybody. That's the trail. there um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna need my hand to help me else I'd film that but probably not a good idea all right talk to you later hot grease here that's where I came from and this is where I'm going, over a suspension bridge with some pretty clean water. I think I'm going to be soaking my feet tonight. Wow, listen to that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. But you see, this thing rages in a big storm. All right, I haven't gotten just one tenth, I think, to the shelter. Almost 17 miles. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's Todd Green. I'm down here in the river with the brook. Soaking my feet. Trying to make it feel better. But man, this is beautiful. Look at the size of these boulders. 